Welcome to our class. Today we'll cover rolling update deployment. There are three topics for today. First, what is deployment? Second, how to rolling update with deployment? Latest, I'll demo rolling update with Minikube. What is a deployment? Deployment provides a management method for pod and replica side. Kubernetes is decorative system. It means I cannot see run this container. All I can do is describe what I want to have and wait for Kubernetes to take action to do it. The relationship of three resources are from high to low. Top level is deployment. It's a manager of replica sites. Second level, replica sites is a maintain pulse. Third level is pulse. Pulse include containers. Second topic, how to roll an update with deployment. Users expect applications to be available all the time. And developers expect to deploy new version of them several times a day. In Kubernetes, this is done with the rolling update. Rolling update allows deployments update to take place with zero downtime by incrementally updating pulse instance. The new pulse will be scheduled on nodes with available resources. A deployment rollout trigger is pod template change. For example, if the labels or container image of the template are updated, the rolling update is triggered. Please remember, in API version IFS v1, a deployment label selector is mutable after it gets created. Other updates, such as uh, scaling the deployment, do not trigger a rollout. There are two ways to rolling update. First way, update image. Command is kubectl plus naming space if you don't use default naming space. Set image. Deployment name, container name, and image detail plus minor minor record equal to true. Recording equal to true is used to save command to rolling update history. Second way, apply update YAML file. Command is kubectl apply minor f plus YAML file name and minor minor record equal to true. Strategy parts are able to add to pod template session in YAML file. The more configurable item than update image. There are two strategies, recreate it and rolling update. Recreate means all existing pods are killed before new ones are created. That means downtime in update process is not best practice. Second, rolling update. This is default strategy. There is no downtime in rolling update strategy. File parameters under the rolling update strategy. First, max unavailable. The parameter control how many pods allow unavailable in the rolling update process. The parameters can be number or percentage. For example, 10%. The default value is 25%. Second, max search. Max search specifies the max number of the pods that can be created over the desired number of pods. The value can be absolute number or percentage of desired pods. Default value is 25%. Max unavailable and max search need to work together. If I have enough resource, and I want to quick update, I can set up max unavailable equal to zero. That means before new pulse ready, do not kill any old pulse. And then set up max search equal to 100%. 
That means start up all new pods immediately. If you don't have enough additional resource, default value 25% is fine. Third, progress deadline seconds. That field provides option number of seconds you want to wait for your deployment to progress before the system report back that deployment has failed progress. The default value is 600 seconds. Minimum ready seconds. That means be considered app available access after pod created. Default value is zero. Minimum ready seconds is based on your app start time. Please test first and then set up the value. Reversion history limit, the parameter used to control how many previous replica sites saved in the Kubernetes. In other words, how many previous deployments are able to roll back. Demo the latest topic for today. Before start demo, let's set up the environment. Log into my Linux box. First, check Minikube status. Minikube running successfully. Second step, enable ingress add-ons. Ingress add-on enabled. Third, retrieve Minikube IP. Use this command to add the Minikube IP and the www.springboardemo.com into host file. Because our testing domain www.springboardemo.com is not real domain name, only for our test purpose. So no DNS has the record mapping information. We have to add this IP and the domain mapping information to our host file. Check result. Item was added. Next, create deployment, replica site, pod, and ingress resource. Use the rolling update demo v1 YAML file. Go through the file. Create a naming space. All the resource created in the KTS minor training naming space. The naming space is used to avoid resource name conflict in your local environment when you run a demo code. Create a deployment. Deployment resource name is rolling update deployment. Replica site is 10. The parameter means create 10 pods. Template, the container name is Spring Boot Demo, image Spring Boot Demo V1, port is 9999. Next section, create a service. Service, use selector to select, to select the pod which has label app value is Spring Boot Demo. Forward port, as a deployment pod port definition. And then create an ingress resource. The ingress resource redirect and the user request from www.springboardemo.com to to backend rolling update service. Apply the YAML file. I put the YAML file under the rolling update deployment folder. The file you can download from my Git repository. The repository link is under the video. Kubectl apply minor f plus YAML file name and then enable record equal to true. All resources were created. And then check deployment resource. Kubectl get deployments minor n meaning naming space. Naming space name is KTS minor training plus deployment name. 
in deployment, replica site value is 10. Right now, 9 of 10 pods are ready. One pod created in progress. Check again. All the desired pod is running now. And then check pods information. 10 pods are running. The number equal to replicate desired. Next, verify the image information under the pod. kubectl describe pods plus naming space and pod name. There is image information inside the pod. Spin boot demo v1. Next, check replica site resource. The desired pod is 10, current is 10. Also, ready pod number is 10. That means replica site running as our desired. Use the curl command access www.springboarddemo.com. Return value is current microservice version. The value should be v1. Core command will through ingress resource, service resource, and pod resource to retrieve the return value. All request resource is created and verified. Start first demo, use site image to rolling update. kubectl, naming space parameter, and site image. Deployment slash deployment name and container name Spring Boot Demo equal to Lian Training slash Spring Boot Demo V1 plus minor minor report equal to true. The command used to up really update the deployment. The container image upgrade from Spring Boot Demo V1 to Spring Boot Demo V2. Minor minor record equal to true. Save the command into rolling update history. Open other terminal to monitor rolling update status. Roll out one by one. The default strategy for the setup create a new pod under the new re replica site first and then delete previous pods. Previous replica site still keep in the system for undo purpose. In the rolling update process, if you want to pause the rolling update process, roll out pause command is able to pause your rolling update process. If you want to continue, you can use rolling resume continue your current rolling update process. Check deployment resource detail. Use the kubectl naming space parameter describe deployment and the deployment resource name. Create a, create a new pod with the update image. Scale down means terminate previous pod. kubectl naming space rollout history and the deployment plus deployment name used to retrieve rollout history. There are two histories for rolling update deployments. First created, second ro rollout. If you want to save your rollout command into history, please add minor minor record equal to true. Clear up existing deployment resource before I run second demo. Recreate test baseline. Second demo for today. Use YAML file to rolling update. Go through the YAML file.
the two parts were changed first at the strategy and the spec. Second part, image version, changed from Spring Demo V1 to Spring Demo V2. Go back to first part. Strategy was added, tab is default tab, rolling update. Under rolling update, there are two parameters, max search and max unavailable. Under rolling update, max search equal to two. That means a lot of two additional pods were created when rolling update process. Second parameter, max unavailable pod, number equal to true. That means in the rolling update process, they there are 10 pods. Only two of 10 pods are now unavailable. Second part is only for version change. Use kubectl apply minor f really update demo v1.yaml file. The command is kubectl apply minor f really update demo v2.yaml minor minor record equal to true. The command is to use really update. Open other terminal to check status. In progress, open other terminal to pause the process. The rolling update process paused. Use kubectl minor n plus naming space Roll out, resume, deployment, select deployment name to continue the process. Check status. Process was completed. Use describe command to retrieve the deployment resource detail. The command is kubectl minor n plus naming space describe resource type is deployment. Resource name is rolling update deployments. The highlighted parts from deployment file strategy section, minimum ready section. Old replica size is the previous version replica size. New replica size is the current version replica size. How to check the rollout history? The command kubectl minor n space name rollout history deployment plus deployment name. There are two records. First record initialize the environment. Second record did the rolling update. Check rollout version. Next, verify API version. The value should be v2. Value is correct. Check relic site record in the system. There are two relic sites. First is the kernel one, second is the previous version replica side. If a new version not stable, rolling out undo able to return to previous version. The command is kubectl minor n naming space roll out undo deployment is resource type slash deployment resource name minor minor two minor version equal to value one. The version number we retrieved from rollout history command. Let me start rollback. Check rollout status. 
really out in progress. Almost done. Check deployment detail. Successfully so rollout. Next, check the undo rollout app version. The number should be V1. It's correct. Two demos were completed. Today we learned what is deployment and then introduced rolling update concept. Next, demo rolling update with set image command. Latest, demo use YAML file to rolling update. Thank you for watching. See you in the next time.